Hey there, Cactus. You and me, let's play some modern Skyblock 2. Yeah! Oh. Howdy, folks. Grok the Duck Farmer here, and I'm on the modern Skyblock 2 server here with the FTOG group. And I, I, I look like my mom dressed me when I was three. <laughs> it's just a big hodgepodge of, of stuff. Actually, no, I look more like I dressed myself. Anyway, stuff and things, stuff and things. I left off here where I was doing a whole bunch of fishing and a whole bunch of uh, making cobble. But let's look at the fish first. Uh, I went ahead and got all of these various things from fishing. I think six fishing rods worth uh, came out of this. Now, some of the string got turned into more rods and I got a dirt here, but uh, I got four more that I stuck over here because I started growing two by twos because I got some, I got a, a bunch of spruce, I got uh, a bunch of dark oak and you know stuff like that and, and, and oak. Yes, I've been looking forward to getting some oak, got some of that and uh, a whole bunch of fish that I'm not really caring too much about, but you know, if I'm hungry, I get to eat some. And so been doing that and oh yes, I had a carrot from a zombie. So I've been uh, slowly going through and, and uh, growing that. So I have something other than, than uh, cactus bits to, uh, to eat from. And one of the things I've been doing is growing a bunch of these trees. In fact, let's go, go wander over here to a little uh, add-on I did to the site. It's a little bit of a walk, but yeah, you know, it's okay. It's all mine and I like it. So over here, I went with the dark oak because I figured this is kind of dirt-esque <laughs> as far as color and uh, the idea is to sit there and grow a bunch of these things. Now I can vein mine this one here and it's gone and then I can vein mine these three that are here and get quite a decent amount of, of uh, little birch wood going there but they drop a goodly amount of these saplings and that's what I've really been going after because five of these saplings turn into here let's just go ahead and do that real quick five of these saplings or any vegetable matter you know I could do it with carrots too but I don't have that many of them uh, I can turn into this plant matter and four of those I can turn into dirt now the other thing I've been doing here, this is a really tall one. Wow, that's, that's really tall. All right, so I've been tr aiming for as high up as I can get it and vein mine up there. And if I'm lucky, eh, I'm not so lucky. Uh, so what I end up doing is I get this block here away and then I run from here. Can I run? Yay, hop right up. And then I can sit there and finish vein mining this here. So spruce can be tall enough that it takes like three vein mines. And I was going, eh, then I've got to put up ladders and climb up there or, or you know, it, yeah, it's it's not much fun. Uh, the other option would be to just um, uh, vein mine where I can, then stack up some logs and then vein mine a little higher and then stack up a little few more logs and then vein mine maybe that third time to get all the way to the top. Uh, yeah, it's it's not so not so helpful because when you come back down vein mining, you take a bunch of damage, and I don't want to take any damage. That's that's not much fun. So uh, let's let's go ahead and dump off a lot of this stuff in here that I am not needing right now, and I've got a bunch more wood down uh, down over there too. So I've been oh hey that's a pretty decent amount of uh, birch there. We'll grab that real quick. Let's see, are you three or four? We'll see really shortly. Oh, just, just three, that's okay. And there's enough. Yeah, the birch seems to be, even when you grow it pretty dense like that, it seems to, to do a pretty good job of giving me back enough uh, saplings. So let's go ahead and dump that up into the birch box. So this is the dark woods. And you can see I've done a lot of dark oak, and uh, which is good because I can use that as actually here. Let's take another stack over here. My one and only dirt furnace. Let's take out some stone, which we'll be using, but get some more charcoal because charcoal is always lovely. So one of the things I did is I went ahead and upgraded from cobble to this uh, smooth stone, uh, which, which I really like. You just take uh, some, some stone slabs, four of them, thank you and you just go zick like this and you get these polished stones. I like the look of those polished stones. They're they're very much like the stone slabs except no middle texture when you you put them together. Anyway, uh change the the little center area cuz when I was popping back I was falling down a little bit further and I just said, "No, let's go ahead and 
make a nice little looking something <laughs> that, that, that actually is useful as well as uh, something that is a block and a half higher. All right, so stuff, 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 stuff. Uh, this has actually been working uh, very nicely, but we want to go ahead and upgrade that. So let's go do a quick little stuff here. You can see what I got up here. I want to get the stone casing and the stone combustion heater going. So I need a wooden gear. And then over here, that will turn that into a stone gear. And then if I grab this little guy, I can turn these into stone rods. And they go around the outside. And then that stone gear goes right in the center. Hey, or is it, do I need, let me check, do I need these? Okay, I need the actual stone, not the cobble for this. So there's my stone casing. And then for the stone combustion, just checking. All right, so let's, I've got my cobble right, not cobble. I've got my gunpowder right here. And that's the stone heat. I can go right there and then we surround that there, yay. Alrighty, so that should get me what I need here. Let's go ahead and pull this off because I'm going to go ahead and, oh, let's just get rid of this stuff. And I can feel a cough coming on, which is not much fun. <coughs> oh, if I'm smart, I will remember to edit that out. Based on all the, the derping stuff I, I did yesterday, I'm not too convinced that I'm going to remember to take that out. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I had loads of fun doing all sorts of derpy stuff, and I just it just occurred to me that I broke my final pick, so I can't pick that there. That's not good. But what I can do is I can go ahead and go doink. Uh, saw that on Thor's video and he was uh, given credit to Shaktu on the server for figuring that one out. Alright, so let's go ahead and pick that centerpiece out. This is fantastic because now I can, I can access and dump in stuff while still having this in place. Now let's go plop right there and then where's my button button? Who's got a button? That goes right there and multi-block. So uh, this this means I can have how much I can have 600 heat so that's six times as much heat as I did with the, the, the wood one and there are a few things that I'm gonna need with this so my main goal for right now is to get some dirt, um, not some dirt, I, I, I want to get lots more dirt up there. I also want to get a lot more dirt down this way. So let's uh, zip down here. I was using this as a spider getting uh, mob farm and uh, hey, not somebody just logged in. This is going to be my greenery for getting passive mobs. And if we take a quick look, uh, I'm in the biome of taiga, so that means I will get passive mobs. The, the sheep, the goats, the pigs, the, 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 the ducks, no chickens. And um, so I need to get dirt. Well, I need a lot more dirt, <laughs> obviously, but I need to turn that into grass. Now, if we take a look at the recipe for that, so these are made grass. Let's go down the rabbit hole for grass. Grass, all the sorts of things, but no, we're gonna do it using the life infusion. And I still have my, my red sandstone one. That needs four seeds, seven hearts, and the dirt back there, and that'll turn into grass, and then it can go ahead and spread. So, well, seeds, how do I make seeds? The, the way to do that is with dead bushes and two flint will get me seeds in the combustion chamber and, and for a very, very cheap price, which is, which is very nice. So uh, having the, the, the stone combustion chamber means that I'm not opening the lid and letting all that heat out. Uh, whatever heat I put in there should continue on. Now, uh, to get the dead bushes, well, those are pretty easy. I got to drying racks set up here, and uh, we've got uh, the dead little stuff here. So, give me you and you and you and you, and I just leave the other ones there. And I've got plenty of saplings. I've been turning them into plant matter, so no problem there. Now, the other thing I did is uh, I was grabbing, you know, sitting here with my pick and just picking gobs and gobs and gobs. Here, you want to see how much gobs and gobs? Uh, that much gobs and gobs. <laughs> There's quite a quite a lot of uh, cobblestone that I've got in there. There you can go with there too. 
Uh, now the we can go in there. Is that filled? Yeah. Okay. I was thinking about putting the back, but nope, I left it. Anyway, uh, so I would sit there and go through and, and munch up the, the the cobble, and then I said, okay, time to make me some of the gravel and and sand that I need. And so I was sitting there placing out, you know, a, a group of nine uh, cobble, and then hitting it with my my stone rock grinder. And those are pretty easy to make. Uh, it's just cobble and a stick. Easy, easy, easy. And that would turn the, the cobblestone into the, uh, the the gravel, and then you hit the gravel again, and that will turn it into the, the sand. And it also gives us a couple flint. So out of the 42 gravel I turned into sand, I got 10 uh, flints. So that's, a, that's enough for, I, for the four seeds I needed, which is good. Alrighty, now the other thing he mentioned, uh, this is Thorgal, is that just sitting here at my crafter, if I go ahead and work this, I get the, 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 the gravel from here, and there's no loss. I'm getting all the gravel, so definitely, if, if I want gravel, doing it here is the way to go. Otherwise, I was sitting there making a 3x3, three three, jumping on top of it, making a 3x3, three three, and just keep building it up, and then doing the vein mining down and I wasn't taking hardly any damage just because it, it was a big enough chunk that I was falling maybe three blocks and so fine. Alrighty, so uh, we need to go ahead and make this. So that's the seeds and the seeds are made in the, yes, they're made in the combustion chamber. Okay, let's go ahead and proceed over there. And I wonder if, whoop, I wonder if I can go ahead and do multiples. Let's see. And let's see if I put you. That's probably enough. One. No. But did that do multiple? Ooh, that did three sets. Okay, that's very cool. I, I tried that with the, 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 the wood one, and it didn't do any uh, additional bits. Is that 42? That's not enough. All right, let's just stick in one of you, and it's gonna keep the heat, which is nice. Hey, hey. Did I not toss in the dead bush? Whoa. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that was a fun little glitch. <laughs> Alrighty, so I've got my four seeds here. And now I need to use my red sandstone infusion. And let's go ahead and, oh, I'm gonna need food <laughs> as soon as, because uh, it's gonna, I'm gonna lose a bunch of life. Let's go jump right here in the center because that's the way we do it. All right, so now the seeds need to go here. No, wait, wait, I need to be looking at my dirt and right click it. So I've got seeds in my offed hand. We'll go over the the interface for this. Boom, boom. So seeds in my offhand where the the shield goes. I've got my infusion stone, and I'm looking at dirt. I'm going to be acting on the dirt. It's going to take seven health and make that grass. So let's do it to that one right there. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> I didn't. I thought it would turn that into dirt. I didn't realize it would pop it out as a block. Ooh, I almost lost my block right there. Oh, that would have been bad. But yay, okay, now I've got grass, and even with just that one, that might be sufficient, although I don't know if, if passive mobs spawn during the night time, but um, they they shouldn't fall off because I've got the, the acacia fencing all the way around it, and I'm hoping... Uh, do I see something there? I think I see something. Uh, no, I was seeing the two torches. I, I was thinking that it was like legs of something, but I was wrong. I thought it was wrong ones, but I was mistaken. Alrighty, so let's harvest this up here. And anything over there? Anything over there? Nope. All right. It's it's. I don't know if it's a day thing or uh, or what, but uh, I will go ahead and cut here and uh, wait for stuff to spread and possibly spawn.
I am high above my base here, and I've got some good news. As the, the sun's coming up, there be animals over there, which is very, very nice. And I got a bunch more dirt, but I didn't do as much harvesting over that as I thought because I did a little looking up. I did. I said, let's look at stuff. Whoop, that's wrong key. Let's look at stuff. Dirt. Making dirt. Well, I don't have any of this stuff to, to make dirt. Nor that, nor that. Uh, this would be possible if I get my alchemical fusion stuff going, but I might as well use four to do it, So, because uh, I do it from here. Uh, none of it is really fun. This takes a lot of plant matter to, to make that happen, but gorse dirt. Well, not, not doing anything here, not doing anything here. Uh, this needs red sand, which needs fun stuff like, uh, where's the... I, I need to give it some yeah yeah see sand with red dye and that no 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 don't want to do any of that but freezer I can take heavy snow and turn that into dirt well why not let's see heavy snow that's four heavy snowballs heavy snowballs are regular snowballs in a freezer I have snowballs I have snowballs from the the blitzes that occasionally spawn where where they're I had a, a few snowballs in there, so I went ahead and started doing that. And in fact, I've got this pillar here, <laughs> careful, uh, this pillar here has 32 uh, blocks of snow in it. So what I've been doing is coming through, getting that, and if I fill that up, then I can sit there and hold down the shift and right click and just harvest this entire stack. and. The nice thing about the way the snow mechanic works in uh, this pack, you get double back. So if you take a, a block of snow and you shift right click, you will get eight pieces of snow, uh, the little snowballs out. And then you combine that together and now you've got two blocks. And so yeah, I worked my way up to the, the point where I said, okay, let me, let me go ahead and use the 32. It's a nice amount. And with the 32, I, I, you saw that I put that uh, stack of 16 in my inventory. That keeps all the snowballs up there in my inventory, so they're not appearing in my, you know, my bar here. Because if I were to click any of these, then it would start throwing the the snowballs, and that that's not good. So. Oh. Uh, one of the first things I do is I go ahead and make the snow that I need to keep the process going. And that's half of what I have. And then the, the next thing is I come to this, um, not wrong chest, I come to this, my um, freezer. And, and to make a freezer, you just take two snow and stick them on top of each other and, and you get yourself a, a freezer. So easy peasy. Uh, but no, if you toss in the, the snowballs in there four at a time, we'll get you this heavy snowball. And unfortunately, these guys only stacked eight, which is kind of a bummer, but that's okay. I'm, I'm doing this in bulk. And the, the, the nice thing is, you can see down uh, below in my, my menu there, I have enough menu, down here, uh, I've got 56 heavy snow. I've, I've been processing this for a little bit been uh, watching some videos, chatting with Mrs. The Duck Farmer and all the rest of the stuff that one does and just processing this th stuff through. So let's go ahead and dink, dunk, bink, and badunk. And now I've got a full stack of the heavy snow. This is gonna take like 65 gazillion years to, to process, but that's okay. Oh, here, let's uh, stack that up in there. So you can see I've, I've, I've uh, done a bunch of snow here, but let's see what animals I've got. Looks like some cows. That's a weird looking cat. All right, let's come in here. Oh, 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 uh, there's rabbits. Oh, cool. Okay, I see what looks like four cows. The, I'm not sure which mod pack is, or mod is giving me these non-standard cows. I've played with uns with cows where they provided resources, but I don't think these do. Hello, rabbit. You're a cute little rabbit. Uh, so him I recognize, 
but yeah, the, these two guys I don't, and you're mm. you're a nice looking cow. So yeah, I got that stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and finish filling out once that uh, over there is done. It will get me uh, mm. the coarse dirt, and when you put that down and you right mm. click it with a hoe, it turns it into regular dirt, and then the grass will spread. So that's what I'm gonna do is is finish filling that out, and then it's probably someplace near here. Go ahead and set up a a, a nice big mm. farm. Because uh, now that I've got grass, here, let's close that, leave the animals in place. Um, what I want to do is start getting some extra resources out of there. And for that, I've got bones in here. Oh, I've got plenty of bones. Let's go ahead and turn that into bone meal. And I can now grow grass, break grass, and get stuff. So rather than taking... Uh, let's see, what was it that uh, there was something I was exploding and getting seeds from? Because that's. I'm thinking I want a bunch more seeds here. And that was. Oh, yeah, that's right. The, the dead bush and the flint that uh, get me a, a seed. Well, if I come in here and I go bone meal, then. Ooh, flowers too. That's very nice. Uh, that gets me to die. Uh, but I'm hoping I will get some seeds this way. And since I have lots of, of bones that I can use, I can sit there and, and do this all day long. Hey, out of the way, Frank. All right, so, oh, canola seeds. Very, very nice. All right, so that gives me a, a possibility for some fuel in the future. Because I don't think I'll be doing canola stuff too soon. What did I just pick up? Pumpkin! Oh, yay, that means I can sit there and make me a snowman once I grow up. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, didn't mean to hit you. Uh, once I grow my snowman, I can go ahead and use that, or grow my pumpkin, I can make a snowman, which then I can make uh, a, a lot of snow really fast, instead of having to build that tall pillar sort of thing. Cocoa! Oh! Oh, yeah, there's stuff I can do with cocoa beans. Yeah, well, that's the dying stuff, we know about that. This here, life infusion. Ah, if I get 10 of these and that, I can make me a jungle sapling and 8 of these and that will get me a mushroom. Ooh, okay, I have one jungle sapling. So that means I can, I can grow that, stick the cocoa bean on the side and then grow more cocoa. Yes, or maybe I'll get some more here. Let's see. I've got 9 more. Oh, there's a seed. Yay, that saves me the... Uh, sacrificing a sapling and uh, getting some more flint not that that's hard but uh, it, this is a much faster method here Ooh, what was this flax oh oh okay there's my string I can ignore the the stupid spiders from now on because spiders are annoying um, I'm, I'm thinking about making a mob farm and I'm I'm thinking that might be something worth street potato uh, I'm thinking that I might stream making the, the mob farm. Uh, I think that might be uh, kind of fun. I've, I've played with several possible ideas, but I think I may go very old school. Uh, and if, if I can get rid of spiders, then that can make it very nice as far as uh, being able to kill everything or knock them down to one health and then just punch them and get lots of uh, experience that way too. So how many out of five left? Uh, you know, I think I will stop pounding on this because uh, this is really good. Uh, I definitely want to sit there and, and make me a farm and start uh, growing some of this stuff, especially the flax. Uh, but give me the, the potatoes. That, gives, that way I've got potatoes and carrots going on, which is very nice. And what else do we got? Pumpkins, I, melons, I'm hoping those show up. Beetroot will give me red dye. Rice, ooh, rice means let's see if I grow rice let's look up rice rice Ross rice all right so if I get the rice dough oh see that's that's gonna be a lot of work because I don't have access to any sort of bucket uh, darn it cuz cuz rice slime balls you can make out of the rice dough and that's like an equivalent of slime slime balls you know that you'd get from slimes that would be mighty nice, but no, uh, making a bucket is late game, and uh, so you're not going to be able to do anything with the, the PAMs uh, for the same reason till late game too, so nope, nope, rice doesn't really do me any good. Mm. 
What do you think about that, guys? Aren't you as cheesed about it as I am? Here, here. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and, and do my last three and uh, come back with a farm. And just like that, I've got myself a nice farm. I, I didn't notice, but I had a melon seed in my group, and so I was very happy for that. And then also right here, there's something I hadn't noticed before. This little thing. This was a fluffy puff seed. And so if I right-click, I get these little poofs here, the fluffy puffs. If I look at these, I can combine them into a fabric. I can make string out of them. Feathers, that's very interesting. Uh, white wool out of them and more seeds. Well, and if I look at the, the, the fluffy fabric, that's like paper. So I can sit there, oh here, let's use this. So any place where I would normally use paper, I can go ahead and use that. So I don't have to find sugar cane. So yay, I'm, I'm glad for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let this go. Um, with this, I'm gonna make me a pumpkin, yeah, make me a pumpkin. I'm gonna make me a snowman someplace and it depends on the, the bio. Let's see what I'm in. No, this is all taiga, so it should be just fine. Uh, so I should be able to then get all the snowballs I want and that means making a lot more dirt because this is 80 dirt right there. <laughs> that's all the stuff I was going to put for over there is now farm. But that's okay because now I've got this good stuff going on which is going to give me a, a variety of foods to eat. Uh, this one, that's flax so that will get me string as well as this will get me string and paper and good stuff. Although this will give me more seeds and I haven't gotten any seeds from this one. So, oh, I lied. <laughs> right there. Oh, yes, I can do seeds from this. Yay! Okay, so I think uh, maybe I need one more. Yeah, I need one more. All right, so I have a full row of fluffy puff seeds. Uh, this is carrots. That's uh, potatoes over there. That's going to be flax, wheat uh, going through there. Uh, since I've got this growing, I can pull these out and I don't need them anymore. I just wanted to make sure that I had some, some more seeds that I can get from them and uh, go from there. Uh, and I plant them in these vertical strips because they will grow faster if they're in strips and not multiple rows. So if I filled all of this up with wheat and had a separate field all filled up with, uh, say, carrots, I will get less than if I had two fields and I went every other row, you know, wheat, Carrots, wheat, carrots, wheat, carrots, wheat, carrots. That will actually grow faster. Uh, last I heard, that's the case, the way the code's written. So anyway, I am glad we got this. We've got the the the, the passive mobs that go in there. Still no no ducks. That's that's sad. Uh, I'm gonna expand that out and move these guys out of the way and see if I can spawn something new. That would be nice. Uh, ducks would be uh, definitely good. And it's a nice, uh, nice evening. Yeah, I think we're in a good state with this. Next time, gonna have to get some some iron going. I think definitely got a lot of things that I can do with iron. Anyway, this has been Grok the Duck Farmer here on the Modern Skyblock Two server, part of the FTOG group, and you can join too if you want. Yes, you can. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.